Use the values in appendix 4 to calculate the enthalpy of formation for each of the following reactions. The reaction described in part A is 2NH3 gas plus 3O2 gas plus 2CH4 gas producing 2HCN gas and 6H2O gas. When we calculate the enthalpy of formation, this is equal to the sum of the enthalpy of uh, the formation of the products minus the sum the enthalpy formation of the reactants. This will be equal to delta H naught starting from the products to delta H naught F for HCN gas plus six delta H naught formation H2O gas minus two delta H naught formation NH3 gas plus three delta H naught formation O2 gas plus two delta H naught formation CH4 gas. We'll look at these values from appendix four. Delta H naught formation of HCN is going to be equal to negative, oh sorry, positive 135.1 kilojoules per mole plus delta H naught formation of H2O is negative 242 kilojoules per mole minus delta H naught formation of NH3 is negative 46 kilojoules per mole. Delta H naught formation of O2 is zero and delta H naught formation of CH4 is negative 75. And this works out to a value of negative 939.8 kilojoules per mole, and this would be the delta H naught formation for A. For B, we're given the reaction, so delta H naught formation is equal to the sum delta H naught formation of the products minus the sum delta H naught formation of the reactants. And this is equal to, on the product side, we have 3 delta H naught formation, calcium sulfate solid, plus 2 delta H naught formation of H3PO4 liquid, minus delta H naught formation of CA3PO42, this is solid, plus 2 delta H naught formation, uh, or sorry, 3 delta H naught formation, that's a 3 here, Three delta H naught formation H2SO4 liquid. Again, looking at these values up from appendix four, and uh, delta H naught formation of CaSO4 is minus one four three three kilojoules per mole plus two times. Minus 1267 
minus uh -huh. minus four one two six. This is negative eight fourteen. And this would work out to negative 265 kilojoules per mole for the enthalpy of formation in part B. And for C, delta H naught F is equal to delta H naught formation of the products uh, minus delta H naught formation of the reactants. Products here, this is equal to delta H naught formation of NH4Cl solid uh, minus delta H naught formation of NH3 gas plus the delta H naught formation of HCl gas. This would be equal to negative 314 kilojoules per mole minus, and this is negative 46. Plus negative 92 kilojoules per mole. And this would give a delta H naught F of negative 176 kilojoules per mole for part C.